Over the years, this channel has had a ton of great programming, but some of the best shows are airing right now. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 current TLC shows. You know, do I really have to wear a bathing suit to my own pool party? And yes, I do. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best shows on TLC that are still airing new episodes at the time of writing. I'm Jennifer. I'm Jordan. I'm Mackenzie. And my name is Josie. Number 10. Who do you think you are? Wow. Makes so much more sense now. If you've ever been interested in investigating your family's genealogy, then this show will definitely inspire you to follow through on it. Who Do You Think You Are first aired on NBC and was picked up by TLC when it was cancelled after three seasons. So this is the kind of room that Ellen would have slept in here in the depot for the first three months when she arrived here in Australia. Each episode of the show follows a different celebrity as they trace their family tree, finding out a bunch of interesting and unexpected information along the way. So we put together this family tree. This is so cool, okay. And we're not talking C-listers here. Big names like Mandy Moore, Hilary Duff, Liv Tyler, and Zoe Deschanel have been featured on the show. Parker House at Panel Farm, demolished in the late 19th century. It was located a short distance to the southeast on the farm of Levi and Sarah Pownall. So this was on my family's farm. Number nine, Dr. Pimple Popper. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Hi. Sandra. It's nice really to nice you. to meet you. Pleasure. What can I do for you? Are you the type of person who can't let a blemish go untouched on your face? Did you try to pop your sibling zits when you were younger? Well, do we ever have a show for you? I'm hoping she's able to remove the tumors that are on my side and the one that's on my back that are aggravating me, giving me a lot of bother. You may be familiar with Dr. Sandra Lee, aka Dr. Pimple Popper from YouTube. But did you know she has her own TLC show as of 2018? Rhinobima happens more in men than women, and it happens predominantly on the nose. Based out of skin physicians and surgeons in Upland, California, in each episode, Lee takes on new patients who have troubling skin issues and helps diagnose and cure them. And don't worry, there are plenty of jaw-dropping extractions to go around. Dr. Lee was able to definitively say what it was, but the main thing is they're treatable. And she recommended that we take some off today, which I'm on board with that. Number eight, Long Island Medium. He said, from the moment I saw you, I knew that we were going to be together. Mm -hmm. Teresa Caputo can communicate with dead people, or at least that's what she'll have you believe. The titular Long Island medium has been on the air since 2011, and since then has helped many people communicate with their loved ones from beyond the grave. Of course, it's okay to be skeptical, and many publications have disproved many of the claims made on the show. He goes, look how handsome I am. Yo, oh my god, that <laughs> and he's like, I almost feel like he's Simon Cowell, Cowell, but with gray hair. But hey, we're not in it for the realism. Sometimes it's fun to suspend your disbelief and just sit back and enjoy without thinking about whatever trickery is going on behind the scenes. But he says, I wouldn't have traded not one second with this family. Number seven, Nate and Jeremiah by design. I just think that this pattern is way too crazy for Janelle. I think you're right. You're probably familiar with Nate Berkus because of his time on the Oprah Winfrey show, as well as his own program, The Nate Berkus Show. Or you may have purchased pieces from his line for Target. This interior designer extraordinaire lets us in for a glimpse at his personal life in his newest show, Nate and Jeremiah by design. We are here because we're gonna fix the whole house. We can't wait to get started working with you and get you back in this place with your family. And, you know, we want this to be amazing for you. Berkus and his partner help clients with design projects and botched renovations and show the work-life balance that it takes to maintain a family and run a business at the same time. Oh my God. Ah! Number six, little people, big world. Girls, women like to feel good and think they look good, but sometimes you get self-conscious. The longest running show in our top 10 today has been on for over a decade, including a period where it had a slightly different title. Little People Big World has followed the Roloff family for all these years, chronicling their struggles and daily ups and downs. Well, why is he just sitting here? Because I, I'm like 
6.30, I was told it was dinner. You know what? Shove it up your ass. What sets this family apart is that parents Matt and Amy have dwarfism, as does one of their children, though the rest are of regular height. There's tension between my parents, and I don't really want to be a part of it, and uh, I just hope that they can not let it get out of control. We've watched the family grow older and develop as they run roll-off farms. Though there has been some controversy surrounding the show due to critiques of its voyeuristic nature, many others praise the diverse representation it offers to viewers. It was a great Thanksgiving. I'm so glad Tori was open to changing her family's plans coming over to the farm. I'm really glad we did it. Number 5. Trading Spaces Is this room now up to Frank's standards? <laughs> I think it's pretty close. If you grew up with TLC in the early aughts, then you undoubtedly watched this show during its first run. Trading Spaces was one of the early shows that made TLC what it is today, focusing on two neighbors who were tasked with redecorating one room in the other's home with the help of the show's designers. Open I'm your eyes! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! It's gorgeous! Oh my god. Everyone had their favorites and uh, least favorites, <clears throat> Hildy, and the end results could be gorgeous or disastrous. So I will yeah, take yeah. that, break it down, <laughs> and make it a um, little mini igloo or something for her. Oh. As of 2018, the show is back for a revival, with host Paige Davis returning alongside some of the original designers. It's crazy. It's a completely different room. My yeah. parents worked so hard. Maybe we didn't work hard enough. <laughs> no way, no way. Oh my god. Number four. Long Lost Family. We found him. He's no If you want a good cry or love watching shows that tug at your heartstrings, look no further than Long Lost Family. Inspired by a British series that originated from a Dutch show called Sporlos, this American version has been around since 2016 and features hosts Chris Jacobs and Lisa Joyner. Matt is your biological father, Tom. Oh my god. Every episode follows people who are searching for biological family members that they have either lost touch with or who they have never met. We found her. Oh. <laughs> Ancestry.com is one of the major sponsors of the show and uses their technology to aid in the DNA testing which contributes to the discoveries. Make sure you've got some Kleenex beside you for this one. Does she want to see me? She does. Number 3. Seven Little Johnstons This may be one of the relatively newer shows on the network, but it has quickly amassed a huge fan base to become one of the favorites. Bow your head and right foot comes down. You guys have great balance. That wasn't an issue for us, you know, standing on one leg, reaching back like a flamingo. <laughs> According to TLC, the Johnston family are the world's largest known family of achondroplasia dwarfs. The show follows them living their daily lives and tracks the issues they encounter based on their dwarfism. Dad's flying. <laughs> the mother of the family, Amber, asserts that they created the show to encourage knowledge about the topic, saying, this is about sharing our story and spreading awareness regarding dwarfism, showing viewers we've lived a real life. The biggest stigma in society is that little people are still considered like circus characters. We don't need to buy no fancy lingerie because why am I going to spend money on something that's going to end up on the floor? Number 2. Say yes to the dress. Okay, Tina, what do you think? Oh yes, this is the dress. Are we going to say yes? Love it or hate it, we've all seen an episode of this show. Say Yes to the Dress has become a TLC staple, showing brides and their entourages going to New York's Kleinfeld to find the dress of their dreams. I brought everybody here with me today because I am looking for outside opinions, but I'm going to make the ultimate decision myself. Each episode follows a comforting similar format, with themes like body image issues, disapproving mothers, and attention-seeking bridesmaids cropping up time and time again. Okay, first reaction. Thumbs down. Does it create stereotypes of what women and brides are like? Sure. Are we going to ignore that and watch it anyway? Absolutely. So is this the one? Is this your dress? I, yeah, I think so. it is. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There are no words to describe how incredible this moment is. I feel like I have been envisioning this day my entire life, and now it is finally happening, and it is just so surreal that it's all occurring right here, right now. Being in another situation where I didn't feel safe 
food was yet again another comfort to me. Sir, I think I have an idea of what's going on. And if I'm right, we don't have a minute to lose. I think somehow your wife and your daughter switched medications. Ronnie, let's add on a urine talk screen to that urine we sent earlier. Stat. Well, it's official. The Quints are three years old today. I couldn't ask for more. I mean, they're five healthy little kids, and I'm so proud of them. I'm sorry. Oh, he's wait, 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 wait. Christine, I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Janelle, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, just a second. Mary, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number one, 90 Day Fiance. I, I don't know if he's really here to fix the problem. I think he just wants to cause more problems. The concept behind this show is kind of genius. It focuses on couples taking advantage of the K-1 visa, which lets Americans bring their foreign fiancés to the U.S. for 90 days before they get married. I'm tired of you, blah, 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 you know? I'm tired of you, blah, 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 too. Why don't you be a little more patient? Patient? If no marriage occurs during that time, though, they have to go back to their home country. Each episode of 90 Day Fiancé takes a look at a couple who is trying this out. And viewers at home get to guess whether they're going to actually go through with the wedding or not. Realize you don't that. give me compliments because Have you ever thought you maybe it's you? You're that crazy. The show is always a roller coaster of ups and downs, and we're always here for the drama. He has told people that I smell and you I do. peed on him. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.